Hey guys, my name is Snurperdash, and today we will be doing an unboxing. So, without further ado, let us get the first thing in this, and that is knife time. Okay, close the knife, that's always important. I'm not sure about the theme yet because, well, it's kind of a surprise, but. Looks like we got a number of things in here. Usually they have a little guide. Alright, so this month's theme apparently is Battleground. And so it features a bunch of different games. And so the first thing I noticed when I opened this crate was freaking this shirt. A Fallout shirt. Which I'm stoked because I've wanted one. And it's all the perks. All the different perks on the shirt. Woohoo! That is awesome. I am so stoked. Shiny. I see the Nerd Rage one, which is one of my favorites. Alright, another one. What is this? That was in 1980. Open, open, open. This will come in I'm sure, for me. These are Battlezone, like the original Battlezone 1980. Shot glasses. I have two of them. Well, that'll come in handy maybe once I can afford anything besides hard cider. You know, that was expensive, guys. <laughs> I don't like getting drunk or anything. Alright, next thing is a Gears of War 4. Never played any of the Gears of War games, but I did see the trailer for the upcoming one recently. It looks really great. It's like a chainsaw gun. It's like a mini mounted or mountable gun with a blade. I'm not 100% sure what it would be called, but it's pretty sweet looking. It looks like it's gonna do some serious damage. Yeah, sweet. Look, there it is on its mount. And got a pin. Just a general battleground pin. See, there's a little skull and a little army helmet on. And there's something for Dead Rising 4. I know some things about it. Or I haven't played any of the Dead Rising. Shiny. It's a Swiss army knife from Frank West, the photographer, you know. See, there's a little flashlight on this one. Blind. And there's a bunch of other things on here. There's no knives on here, which is good, I suppose. Not giving away knives to random gamers. It's a good thing. Put that back in its nice little case. And another thing, there is a Dark Souls comic in here. Probably gonna kill somebody right now, but I'm gonna open it up. A lot of times with comic book cases, there's a flap, but this one does not have a flap, so... Looking shiny, guys. Looking shiny. Ooh. Check out that. Give it a little bit of a spoiler. It looks lovely. I mean, not lovely as in, like, pleasant, but really well done. Like, they have multiple different artists in here. There's tiny mini comics. And finally, ah, so the guide actually was on the back of the poster, and I had no idea, because the last one came with a little booklet, and the booklets are better, but honestly I don't mind, because it gives me use of this. Awesome. And this, yeah, this is a battleground poster. And it's army game. Probably something I'm never gonna play. I was never allowed to play army based games as a kid. Anyway, I think that's it for the crate. Other than the crate itself, which. Cool. Like the decorations on the inside of these crates are really well done. Well, guys, thank y'all so much for joining me on this unboxing adventure. I'm so excited to have all this stuff. It's like, uh, I love gaming merchandise. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, drop a like down below. And yeah, my name is Snurkadash, and I'll see you when I see it. Snurk out.